Hello my beautiful friends. This is Jody Renshaw from The Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36. I am going to present a haul today. It's a fun one. I like this one. And I have a few stories because I love sprinkling hauls with stories and I love when I go to other people's hauls and other people's live sales and they tell stories. It's my favorite. So assuming that you like it too, I am gonna sprinkle some stories in because some of these items remind me of some stories so uh, first like you wherever you are it is hotter than Hades here not Haiti although I don't know if it's hotter than Haiti today but it's I don't know what Hades temperature is and I don't know what Hades temperature is either <laughs> So what am I even saying? It's just hot. So I'm sure you're tired of hearing it and tired of feeling it. So, so grab that iced coffee. My cup says GG because that's what my grandkids call me. Uh, grab that iced drink. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I have a fan on me and the air conditioning and I'm really hoping that it doesn't affect the sound quality. And I'm sorry. Um, it's some nice white noise though for our background that might be good and it might keep the dogs from barking because they just hear the fan and air conditioner and me so I just um, left uh, Tammy and David's sale live sale on vintage uprising Texas which I'll hope to put a link to them in the description here I just left their live sale, bought like two things and then scurried down here to do a haul video. Um, but I do love their sales so much. I, I really like them. This community, I'm going to say it a billion times, is just so great. I, I've hit jackpot. Um, my cup runneth over. But seriously, it, um, get to know some of these awesome people. They're just good people. They're not just trying to sell you things. They're, it's, a, it's a personal exchange, and there's something very personal about sharing vintage things that have a history or um, homemade or handmade. In my case, um, some of the handmade things I find um, have such a history. So I don't know. It creates a relationship. So uh, the other thing is I will probably be dabbing as I do and I have yet to open the box of um, hankies that I bought from uh, Kim at Oh My Vintage whom I adore as well I'll try to put her link to I'll try to remember all these links that I want to put in um, I didn't do my unboxing for her yet and I refuse to open something and use it until I do an unboxing video because I want to show uh, what cool things they sell I feel like I'm looking up a little too much at the camera, like it's way up high. So you tell me if that's odd or distracting. Um, but yeah, I went to, I went thrifting today and I did not include that into the, in the haul I'm about to show you because I'm behind in hauls. I'm behind in a lot of things. Um, if you purchased from my live sale, which was so much fun, um, the, the third one, the one I just did Sunday with Halise at 8, I have 90% of it boxed and ready to go. And um, it's all on that chair. So, yeah, and I just discovered Pirate Ship. So you guys are getting way better shipping prices than ever before. And I also have them pick up at the house. It was the first time today and it worked like a charm. So that's really great. Um, learning things and doing better I hope so I went recently to it looks like Salvation Army the Catholic thrift store and uh, Goodwill and it looks like that's what this hall is those three places so let's get started do I have a story to start with um, I don't, but being that it is the end of Pride Month, and I have not really said anything about Pride Month, um, 
and maybe that's just because like around here every month is black history month and every month is pride month um but i don't want to negate or neglect how important that is for people um to have that month of celebration and awareness and learning and growing so i just want to say that to those of you who um hopefully we all celebrate pride month but uh to those of you who um trying to get a little deep but not too deep because i don't want to cry <laughs> Something in my life has happened recently where um, I saw people being um, denied uh, for who they are and who they love or how they choose to express themselves. Um, so I just want to say that if you're watching this video and you have not come out yet or you have and uh, people are not embracing you, I am embracing you you have my email uh, reach out to me reach out to many of these people in this community I'm certain and um, and we'll be your family we are your family so um, be proud of who you are I am gonna cry if I keep talking be proud of who you are in Catholic school, there was a poster that we had that I love, and it showed a picture of a little boy, and um, I can still see what he looks like, though I won't describe him because it doesn't matter, really. The poster said, God made me, and God don't make junk. I think I was in second grade and you know create uh, replace God with creator replace God with um, Buddha I whatever replace God with universe replace God with science replace God with whatever word is um, comfortable to you and it remains the same uh, sometimes I say my religion is love so love created you and love don't create junk so you are loved I, you are so loved okay Whew. and now vintage goodies <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip I hope you all had a good pride month I hope Every day is Pride Day. Take pride in who you are every day. Um, okay, so moving from that, let's just move from that to um, to maybe the funkiest looking dog I've ever seen. <laughs> well, he's not funky. I don't know. Is he a little? Is he a little sad? Maybe. Is he a little sad? Is he contemplative? Or is he like, or she, excuse me, I hate gendering things. They, are they like, um, like I'm so done with you. You decide. I'm so done with you. Uh, I'm sad. I want to eat. Um, uh, someone pooped on my lawn. What, what is happening with this friend? So they have a sticker and it is, oh, it's not okay. It's, uh, it's seen better days. Come on, there we go. So I'm fairly certain that it says made in Japan. I, I know it does. I just don't know what the rest is. So anyhow, this is going into a live sale for sure. Cause I know some fun people who would want this this puppy in their house so that was from Salvation Army I'm having some really good luck there today when I went in it was packed with Christmas in July like they know July is around the corner so they just packed that place with Christmas I didn't really see anything that 
I liked. Excuse me, I'm going to dab. If my friend Heather is watching, and I love Heather, she told me not to dab. She's like, let that, let that sweat drip, it's sexy. So I feel like I'm taking away my sexy when I dab. Okay, so we'll go from dog to cat. This cat was at the Salvation Army. It has a marking on the bottom, but it just looks like numbers. Oh, also, I'm taking a tip from Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. Hi, Katie. Uh, I'm not even sure if she's a, a subscriber. I hope she is. I love her. Um, her lipstick is on point. And I appreciate good lipstick. And uh, anyway, she said in her videos, she has the best lighting ever, no matter what time of night it is. And so she has two ring lights. So I have a ring light over here and then just an incandescent bulb that is like burning my eyeballs. So I don't know if this is better, but I'm going to take some cues from Miss Katie. So yeah, look at this cat. So a little strange, right? A little different. My little front here. A little white tip on the tail. And it's a planter or whatever you can put in there. When things are really tiny planters, I don't know what to do, except for like Misty does, air plants. Air plants. But I even kill air plants. So anything that is like vase-like in this house, I just kind of put stuff in. Not vase-like. Yeah, well, vase or pot-like. So yeah, this will go on a live sale. Wow. Wow. That's fun. Uh, sticking, do you want to stick with the animal train? Let's go on this animal train. So this is one half of a salt and pepper shaker, but I was not leaving this there at Salvation Army uh, because I don't care that it's missing its friend. I don't care that it's a salt and pepper shaker. All that matters is this face <laughs> and this pose. It reminds me of Danny Darko. Like, what is happening here? What set? What set was this? What was happening in this set? It's not marked. I just really need you to look at that face, though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm loving that. Okay, speaking of funny faces... I couldn't leave this there. I'm not even sure if it's vintage. I'm not sure about anything about it. Be oh, wait. Yes, I am, because it has a signature on the back. And it's dirty, so I really need to clean it. But it looks like somebody made this in 1997. So, yes, it is vintage. And, yes, guys. Oh, gracious. I do need to dab. I do need to dab. So, it says 1977 and a, and a name. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this Humpty Dumpty. I mean, I'm assuming it's Humpty Dumpty because he looks like he's sitting on a wall. Giving you the... Wait. My mouth, my mouth contorts the wrong way. Wait, he's smiling. There's my picture. So yeah. That's going to be in a live sale. I'm loving these live sales. Because you guys have a fun sense of humor, so I want to find things for you that, uh, that are humorous. So, I guess that's all for really humor, unless you find this long dachshund to be humorous. I have no idea what they're used for. No idea. You guys are so good at this, so I know you'll tell me. Someone tried to sell it at a yard sale didn't work but I bought it at Salvation it has numbers on it maybe that'll help someone figure out like if it went with some sort of set I don't know there's the face so live sale why not why not I'm trying to get away from eBay actually I'm loving the live sales so my lovely friend Yvonne Yours and mine. She's everyone's friend. Uh, she was like Jody, 
You have got to buy brooches. You've got to find the brooches, my girl. So I found a few brooches, and one of them is on my Instagram. It's of Poseidon. It is to die for. And I can't find it. <laughs> I took a photograph for it for Instagram, and then I lost it. So it's on this table somewhere. I'll do it in the next the next haul. I'll show it. But I'll show you this one. But I really, I don't know if it's going to show up how amazing it is. This is the problem with showing brooches. So it's floral. Definitely an older piece. It's like some kind of... Oh, again, you guys know better than me. It looks like foil underneath. Like foil flowers. That, that's... That's doing a decent job. Looks very Victorian. I'm loving the colors. I mean, maybe you'd go this way. Actually, the back of the pin sort of suggests that you wear it this way. Ooh, that looks pretty right there. And then, I don't know if the back helps to tell its age. You guys know way better than I do. Stephanie and Kim and Katie and Joanne and cat you all know better than me so yeah I did it but that's the only one you can see tonight I think I bought four of them so they're gonna be in live sales for Yvonne well she was telling me to do it for me but I'm gonna listen to that Yvonne she knows some stuff and then this unmarked it's a swan right yeah wait 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 don't say the wrong thing i think it's a swan two swans yeah that's not a duck a swan neck and a duck neck are very different so speaking of that i have i, I have a story i didn't know i was going to tell so my friend posted on facebook today that she went to um the ocean here in maine and she was watching this um, loon. And <laughs> if you're from Maine, you know that loons are in lakes and they're in oceans. They don't care. They like, they like all, all the water. So she was looking at the loon and, and, a, and a man walked up to her and remarked, um, oh, are you watching that duck? And she is a very sweet woman, this woman. So I know she wasn't rude. I know she wasn't. Um, I don't even have to be there to know she wasn't. She apparently turned to him and said, oh, that's it's actually a loon. And he said, no, it's not. It's a duck. It's a duck. That's a duck. Loons don't go in the ocean. So she, now if you know anything about loons and ducks, they look very different. And so she was sure it was a loon and uh, I trust her. And she said that all of a sudden the loon made a noise, the loon noise that I do not know how to do. I cannot copy that. My son and an old friend of mine can, can copy it perfectly, but it does not sound like a duck at all. It is not a quack. It is like a very awkward song, but it is not a quack. And so the, uh, my friend so the there's both the, her and the man are standing there and she tells this story better than I do and uh, and it, the loon makes the loon noise and she doesn't say anything because she figures the man has just realized it's a loon and the man turns to her and says see it quacked I told you it was a duck I'm sure he was a tourist. I'm, I'm going to assume he was a tourist. God bless the tourists, but we know our loons, guys, okay? Don't come here and play like you know the loons better than we do, okay? We know our loons, and I know this is a swan because of its neck. <laughs> so, not marked. Very, um, I don't know, very Japan-looking, right? I don't know the maker. 
And moving to something completely unrelated, I found these and I'm going to put them in some kind of a Halloween or like spooky or like odd sale because they're eyeball salt and pepper shakers. There is no way these are vintage. They're not vintage, but they're awesome. Okay. They're awesome. Complete with eye veins. Look at that. Reminds me of Monsters, Inc. There's Mike. I could be Mike for Halloween. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys got that. Okay. Moving on. I found these uh, dominoes, Aztec dominoes, at Goodwill. And I've never seen this before in my life. Everything on the back, I'm fairly certain, though I cannot be sure, is Spanish. I mean, I would think so. Um, the front does say luxury edition, though, but it says edition de lujo. So that must mean luxury edition. I just learned how to say luxury edition in Spanish. <laughs> so I have never seen dominoes like this. They're all wooden. I'm very shaky tonight, so I'm trying not to be. Um, I love the presentation. And I looked them up because there's no date or anything. This could be modern. I have no idea. I only found one currently on eBay. No comps. And I think it was selling, it was, excuse me, they were asking, I, I mean, it hasn't sold yet, but they were asking like 35 or 40 between 35 and 40. So I thought, okay, well maybe there's some value there and we could either do this in a live sale or, um, or I could put it on eBay. You decide. Uh, my minutes are getting a little overdone here, so I'll be right back. Okay, my camera only lets me record 25 minutes at a time. So I'm gonna take another sip. How's my dabbing? Oh, here comes a big, a big sweat ball, Heather. I had to wipe it away though. So I don't know if this is vintage or not. I don't know if this is cloisonne or not. You guys are going to tell me because you're awesome. It's brass and it tings like brass. It has an original price tag on the back from Flora's for $15.95. So I feel like that would be more modern. I think this would go awesome with boho decor, which of course is my decor. And, but I tend to boho a little more towards like Frida Kahlo-esque. Um, although I really do like this. So, you tell me, and I was thinking of doing um, an ocean theme live sale. I'm definitely going to be doing a natural history live sale. And what I mean by that is like, well, I'm having a really hard time explaining it in my head, so I don't know how to explain it to you, but, um, you know, museum-y type stuff, nature stuff. So anyway, so that might go in some kind of an ocean theme or something like that, or not. Maybe it just, maybe it just goes. So this is not um, vintage at all, not at all. And I'm not even gonna apologize because it's a fish and it looks like one of the gurgle pots. Have you guys heard of the gurgle pots? So there are these large fish pots. I have one that's going up in my next live sale, actually, that look like, I mean, they're fish. They're, they're a fish pitcher. But when you pour out of them, they make this gurgle sound, kind of like when wine pours out of a wine bottle. And I am here for it. I love it so much. So um, gurgle pots go for a lot of money. My dear friends sell them at their store, A Little Mad, in Far Harbor. 
and uh, I have one. I bought one that's a medium size, and uh, well, I no, that's the one I'm putting in the live actually because I want to get a bigger one. So uh, um, they come in all different sizes, but I might put them these two together. So I don't know if this gurgles. The other one that I have definitely gurgles. And this one is not made by the same company, so I really don't know. It has something to do with the shape. So that will be in this week, weekend's live sale, I believe. And then for an upcoming mug sale, I found this night definitely 1980s, early 90s, probably 80s though, mom cup looks like Mary Poppins <laughs> right almost everything on here yes it's very Mary Poppins-esque kind of wish it didn't say mom because then it could be good for anybody it just looks like a Mary Poppins cut so oh mom live sale I mean mug sale sorry I just oh no I have a couple more days left on my current mug sale and I have about half maybe a little less than half the stock left so there's still some good things in there um and thank you to all who bought you guys got some really good things so okay some of you may have heard that i am desperately courting um what is it lilacs vintage fines i hope to jesus i said that right i'll put her link i just call her lilac which is not her name she just happens to love purple I adore her. She's also a burlesque dancer. So when I saw this mug, oh, I thought of her, not her colors. If I, if I remember right, I, she shows her room. Uh, I don't think she's going to care though. Cause that's so cool looking. I mean, I kind of want it. Um, so the only thing is, so it's marked USA on the bottom. The only thing is, I don't know if I can get out some of these marks on the side. It says the Red Garter established 1958 on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. But right here is like some, I, I'm sure I could get that off. I could probably lick the crap out of it off. But this thing's been on Bourbon Street, so do I want to do that? Isn't she awesome? Mm, mm, mm. that might be my cover photo okay so I hope she sees that she can tell me what she thinks of it and this needs to be ironed something fierce this pretty linen and it needs the tag to be taken off so where's the embroidery did I show it to you the wrong way look at that embroidery isn't that gorgeous when people made things just out of boredom or you know to not out of boredom but to be creative and or to curb some boredom while you're sitting around talking with your friends I'm not saying your friends are boring unless they are unless they are okay so I liked that um oh this one says Gare, G-A-R-E, Incorporated, 1996. It's a little hedgehog. It's a little hedgehog. And I looked up Gare hedgehogs, and I, I guess they're a thing. And if I am accurate, this was a ceramic that would have been painted by someone else. So this would have been like a home project or a ceramic studio project but if it is they did a darn good job they, look at the feetsies like they did a really good job not sure why it lies like this this is how my puppy lies down all the time <laughs> like for real you say his name and he's like I want to be padded okay guys I bought this bag because I know that these are like kawaii Japanese characters. I just don't know who they are. And 
if no one wants it, I'm just going to use it because in Maine, uh, plastic bags are banned as of July 1st, which makes me very happy because we all have to start using all the bags that we've had around forever that we keep accumulating. So I will use it or I'll use anything as a purse, anything. I'm ridiculous. As long as it costs me like $5 or under, it's a purse. So, cause I'm so hard on them. So maybe I'll just use, I mean, this looks very me. It's not floral though. So it's more school teacher. It's whatever you want it to be. So let's see. Ah, I thought of Miss Yvonne again when I grabbed this. This is really neat. So this is an owl print by George Shamat. I'm loving that they used a blue frame. The contrast is so cool to me. I have to figure out how Katie doesn't get ring lights. Like, look at that ring light in my... I have to figure out how far away Katie puts things. And you know what? I'm the photography professor. And I, I'm the one who teaches my students how to make their own studios. And I am having the hardest time with film. Excuse me. I don't have a hard time with understanding like what my ISO should be at, what my aperture, what my shutter speed, uh, white balance, all of that. Um, I think it's just because I'm using like at home things that is making this whole studio thing kind of, kind of awkward. And I'm using my living room table. So, and I can't like put myself in a light box. So I'm learning. But anyway, if I can get the lights out of these and figure out like the perfect ratio that Katie from Vintage and Vinyl uses, like right there. Nope, that was it. Nope. Okay. So what I really like about this, at first I was like, this is some kind of cheap um, frame. I better take it out of it. But no, the frame is made in USA, a vintage frame by Nadell Plastics Corp. And it has some other words on it. Oh, made in Chicago. So I'm sure that's not going to pick up on here, but this, uh, the frame is neat. So it's sticking with it. It's sticking with it. And I don't know if this is something Yvonne's interested or not. She doesn't have to be, but she loves owls. So I think of her whenever I get owl things. And I think there are a few others who like owls. I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, this, you may remember I had the world's greatest dad, like one of the original world's greatest dad mugs in um, my mug sale. And I found the exact same world's greatest mom at the same place. So I'm guessing maybe they came together by, um, what is it? I don't know. There we go. And it is made in USA. So this will go in my next mug sale. I love the mug sales. I love mugs. Oh, someone's texting me. I'll get to them in a minute. Okay. Hmm. Let me just check on that one moment. Okay, so I'm glad I stopped for that text because um, I think they'd be okay with me saying their names. I just won't say their last names. Uh, it was Earl and uh, Val. It was Val who just wrote to me. Their husband and wife wife team uh, very very much a team and uh, we love each other endlessly and they know about something that I've been I don't want to say going through I haven't been going through it I've been working on something in our community <laughs> that's them again and they were they were thanking me in a very humorous way so I really really appreciate that um, I'll just say because I don't want to be cryptic um, I just really don't want to cry. Um, in our community, which is a very welcoming community, uh, we are growing in diversity almost daily in Bangor, Maine, which is hard to believe, especially if, like me, you've been here a lot of years, but you came from a much bigger city. Um, and someone in our community... Um, was very uh, hurtful in expressing their dislike 
I want to be very careful in the words I use. Um, for the pride flag and for uh, the gay community. And uh, they are a business owner in the area. So, um, uh, I worked on some things to, I worked on some things, I'm not, um, and so did others, very much so. And, uh, and I think that some healing may happen in our community. I think it's really important when people do yucky things, say yucky things, have yucky thoughts, that we recognize that they're human. Maybe they don't know better. Maybe they didn't learn better. And we can be angry and we should be angry at some of the things that this person said and did, well, mostly said. But in order for healing to occur, at some point you have to have grace. At some point you have to be the person who says, if you're willing to listen and are brave enough to listen, um, we will explain to you why you hurt us and, and maybe we can come together. So that is happening and um, it seems to be happening and uh, I'm really, really grateful for it. And my friends here were just thanking me for my part in it in a really funny way. <laughs> so in a sweet way, not in, not in a derogatory way at all. So um, my friends know and um, that I personally love Jesus as a role model and I don't have a particular religion but when I do things in the community I often think like well how would Jesus have approached this and it's not something I put on other people it's just how I approach my life and even personally you know some something happened where I was asking my husband like what, what should I do? What, what, what do you think Jesus would do? And my husband doesn't know a thing about Jesus. So he's like, I don't, I don't know, babe. <laughs> so, so, uh, anyhow, these friends were just, um, they just sent me some messages that included some Jesus talk. So that was kind of fun. So I love you, Val. I love you, Earl. And this community is going to heal. It will heal. We always do. We always do. We're still healing from some stuff though. Um, and maybe I've lost you by now and you're like, just show me some stuff. But in our community many, many years ago, um, a gay man was killed right in our downtown, uh, Charlie Howard. You can look it up if you'd like to. And he was killed by his fellow class, high school classmates, if I remember the story right. Or, or he was killed by three fellow class, three classmates. I know that the three who murdered him were classmates. And I believe Charlie was too, or maybe Charlie was older. And I apologize that I don't know the whole story. But it has been, um, he, was, he was beaten and thrown into the river, which is right in our downtown. Uh, you can go to the spot where he was murdered. Um, there's a memorial there. His parents still live here, last I knew. Um, this happened, as I understand it, in the 80s. It happened before I moved here in 1995. But it is a really big deal in this community, as it should be, because uh, he was killed for being gay, for being different. And uh, my community um, wasn't having it. And even before, like, even before it was unpopular to be homophobic. My community wasn't having it. So, um, anyhow, there's a, there's a lot to that story and I'll just let you look it up. Cause if I say more, I'll cry more. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, anyway. So there are a lot of good people working on things right now to make positive change in our community. And, uh, I'm happy to know them and I'm happy to help. 
So moving on, moving on. Starbucks. <laughs> oh man. From homophobia to Starbucks, which don't go hand in hand, by the way. So the Starbucks winky mug. I can't, how do you get this eye that big when you're winking? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do that. Oh, this tells me it's a 14 ounce mug. That helps me to learn how big the mugs are that I'm selling. But this will go in the um, mug sale. And the mug sale was $6 a mug last time. And I'm, I think I'm just going to stick to that. And now that I've pirate ship, I know how to ship them to you so inexpensively. And mm, people are teaching me things and I love it. I got this for me because it might not scream Frida Kahlo, but it whispers it a tiny bit. It whispers it a little bit. So that's gonna go, like I'm gonna put my ketchup, mustard. This is gonna be like my on the outdoor table thingamabob. And another thing for me were these bluebird boxes, like they're box, nesting boxes, right? Right? Right, guys? No, they're not. <laughs> it's the only one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, smell that. There was some good potpourri in here. Good potpourri. So that is mine. As much as anything can be mine, that is mine. So at the Salvation Army, I got this um, El Chapo, El Chaparro Gigantica. This is something to do with the West Coast choppers. Okay? I know nothing about any of this. So all this motorcycle-y stuff. But what I thought was really cool is that this must only sell at the store there must be some kind of a store in in Long Beach California where you can where you can visit and buy West Coast chopper things because that's clearly where they went they got a bag west and they bought some stickers there I'm curious now Oh, pay up, sucker. Isn't that a tattoo one of them has? West Coast Choppers. Uh, West Coast Choppers. And Choppers for Life. So I figured I'd just put all these together in a package. So one of the other things I'm working on is a pop culture live sale. With vintage and modern pop culture iconic goodies. So... If you want to get in on that with me, if you're somebody who sells and um, you sell things like that, like I already have some Mr. Rogers items, um, some Wonder Woman items, uh, some art, um, pop culture art, some Star Wars things. So, you know, and give me ideas because I'll, I'll look for it. The last thing I have, which is, no, it isn't the last thing because the last thing is the bestest thing oh wait we're not we're three out we're three out so yes another afghan and yes i will buy them in the hot hot blazing hot sun i don't even care look how cool those stitches are look how cool those stitches are i feel like i left part of the um Charlie Howard's story out. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to watch this back, and if none of it makes sense, I'm going to just delete it. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I feel like I was trying to express that a lot of people are working on keeping the memory of what happened alive so that it never happens again. I think that's the part I forgot to say. So we will not forget, we even have a hotel downtown named the Charles Inn after Charlie Howard. Um, 
and there are some people in the community who just need to learn uh, the history of our area and that we do not tolerate homophobia, bigotry, racism. We just don't tolerate it. But we will forgive and allow you to grow. Here comes Lyra, who I won't forgive if she dumps everything off this table. Cat, what are you? You're gonna get hair in my coffee. Okay, I have another story. You guys are sick of my stories. How many hours is this so far? Sorry, I had to throw the cat down. She was up in my iced coffee, you guys. Okay, so I found this and thought it was funny. Don't make me use my teacher voice. Not vintage, but come on, one of you wants this, or maybe more. But I'm a teacher, I'm a professor, which feels different, like, I don't say teacher because I feel like people think, like teacher is way more work. I'm just gonna put that out there. If you teach 12th grade and under, you are working a lot harder than I am. So I feel like that's like an elevated term. I say prof professor because I'm dealing with adults typically. So um, not always easy, don't get me wrong, but I wanna tell you a story about a teacher voice. Fast forward if you don't wanna hear it. Uh, my foster daughter, who I just call my daughter, but in case you didn't know, uh, she, when she was in second grade, we did not have custody of her. And uh, she had the best, hands down the best teacher I'll have, I'll have ever known in my life. Um, I'll just call her Jenny. And uh, once, and I would volunteer for her classroom so that I could see my girl because during the week I, I didn't see her at all. So we were very, very invested and still are in her. Um, and so I volunteered at her school. And I watched this teacher command a classroom like no one's business. And probably the opposite of what you think. The classroom next door to Jenny's, that teacher yelled constantly. It was jarring. It was just, I remember one time she was like, I'm going to step out for a minute. And I don't, if I find out that any of you were cheating, blah, 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 blah. Well, I had learned in college in different classes that I took for my degree that the worst, no, excuse me, the way you can make, not make, the way you can persuade children to do the wrong thing is by suggesting and assuming they will do that wrong thing. This has been tested time and time and time again. If you say to them, you know what guys, I'm gonna step out for a minute and I know that you guys are so honest and you are so uh, good at your work, I know that you will make me proud and not look at one another's papers or whatever. That, that, that that's when they don't cheat, is when you believe in them. And they do cheat when you assume that that's who they are. So I would listen to her and think, oh my gosh, she's, she is not doing this right. Um, well, Jenny in her classroom, when it would get rowdy, as a second grade classroom does, teacher voice, she would flick the lights on and off. I'm gonna do this for you. This is what Jenny would do. Classroom is rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. She would walk up to the light switch. Hello, my sweeties. I just need your attention right now, okay? I just need you to really listen and focus on my voice because I have something to tell you. And they did calmly shutting the light on and off to get their attention and then using an even smaller voice so that they would listen. Oh my gosh, she had me at light switch. <laughs> best, best teacher, just anyway. So when I think of teacher voice, I don't think maybe what some of you guys are thinking. I think of Jenny's voice. Don't make me use my soft, 
gentle, kind, calm Mr. Rogers voice. Don't you make me do it. That was Jenny. That is Jenny. And I love you, Jenny, if you're watching. Well, you know that. So what's the last thing? The last thing, generally, is always misfit art. So I found some misfit art to die for. To die for. It's some pottery made by TDJ. TDJ. TD. That is hard. TD. TDJ made this. Wait for it. We'll just start at one spot. <laughs> All right, we'll go this way. I don't know if this is supposed to go a certain way. Oh, looks like we might be watering something. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go this way. You know what? Talk with it. There's the flower. Sun on the sun on the seedling. Okay, shoot. I know how to do this now. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, this is where it starts. Okay, we need the full story. Right? Yes. Okay. Watering the seed or put no putting down the seed, putting down the seed, watering the seed. The glaze is so messed up. I mean, it's lovely, TDJ. Then the sun shines on the seedling. And then the flower blooms. The end starts over again. Look at the coil. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. You know that's going in a sale. You know I want one of you to rescue this and love it forever. Love it forever. So that's it, guys. That's the haul, including stories. I told you there'd be stories. I'm sorry if they were boring. We had the teacher story. Uh, <laughs> just the local healing story. Uh gurgle pots I don't know oh, I had other I had one I wanted to tell you guys tonight but I want to save it for another night because I have said too much so anyway I love you guys so much thank you for putting up with the long pauses between my videos lately and just so you know I will Halise and I will be live this weekend but we're trying to figure out if we should do it Sunday night which is 4th of July night or if we should go to Monday and I did put in uh, a poll on YouTube. Um, I asked what you guys thought. Uh, so far, one response, and it was to keep it on Sunday. So we'll see. But I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Please take care of each other. And I love you so much. Thank you for your support. Bye for now.